Beauty Transmission announced, my first message is don't panic, right? This is not like it was back in March when we didn't know where all the cases were, but we all are gonna need to act. We all need to be hypervigilant. So even if the virus isn't in your community right now, we still want you to be washing your hands, to be um, you know, thinking about whether you really do need to do that hug <laughs> um, and uh, making sure that you keep track of who you've been with and where you've been. Um, we need those, inf you know, that information like kind of going back a couple of weeks. So if you can make sure that you're keeping a diary, uh, even better to be using the, um, the Ministry of Health app We mustn't become complacent about um, staying home if we're unwell. So even if COVID-19 is not in your area, that's still a really, really important thing to do. Because remember, you might feel um, okay, but if you give whatever nasty virus you've got to someone else, it could actually make them much more vulnerable to infection. So I'll tell you something that COVID-19 sort of allowed me to do, and that was to start conversations about personal space. Now that we have community transmission again, do not feel at all uncomfortable with saying with somebody that you do not want to hug or kiss or anything like that. There are lots of different ways that you can greet people and lots of different ways that you can show your affection without having to have contact. So remember, we got through this first time round by behaving like a team and being kind to each other. And we will do that again. So we might have community transmission, we will get through this. Be kind, stay safe.